Independence has been the way of the world for five centuries. But in the last century, starting with the Second World War, the Holocaust, and then the emergence of global markets after that war, increasingly it became apparent that we were entering into a new time, a new millennium, in which independence no longer ruled, in which the forces we face are forces of interdependence. If you somehow think that God has uh, told you the truth, or God has revealed it somehow and you have interpreted it correctly, then of course why should you tolerate opposition? Why should you tolerate dissent? Why should you tolerate pluralism? Three important components of any civilized society. C'est inséparable, ces deux choses sont inséparables. Que l'une ne peut pas être vécue sans l'autre, et vice versa. Et voilà la, la nuance que, que je fais entre religion et foi. Et que euh, l'extrémisme se retrouve partout, justement lorsqu'on euh, lorsqu dissocie ces choses qui sont finalement indissociables. Which of these two versions of religion will we choose? Which will become central, the religion that divides and creates enemies, or the religion that unites and creates brothers and sisters of the spirit? The nature of religion is undergoing very profound changes in response to globalization. Religion is no longer a matter of faith and rituals. Increasingly, it is becoming a matter of identity. To confront the forces of unrestrained capitalism, I think that are, that are creating the commercialism that is grabbing in our youth. And if we don't do that, then we can only expect that parents will seek to keep them away from it uh, at all costs, even by taking religion as an identity, which creates the intolerance that was, is so problematical. These are some of the measures which are critical in order to make sure that the youth become a force for good a constructive force in matters of faith and in participation in globalization. Because the alternative, if we do not take these measures, is that they will become an army of spoilers. We're here to talk about democratic globalization over against corporate globalization. We're here to talk about the ways in which our interdependencies economically, politically, spiritually, culturally, can empower the everyday peoples of the world. strata of population and of nations are protected. I think there's some be, been some really big issues that have been brought up yesterday and most definitely today. And I believe that the solutions to many of those issues will only ever be realised at the local level. We know that across the world, the different societies ont compris que la dimension de la société civile, c'est-à-dire de, de du vécu, de l'activité, de la responsabilité des citoyens dans le quotidien, est quelque chose d'extrêmement important pour fortifier euh, les libertés, pour, pour fortifier la, la convivialité, pour euh, fortifier aussi le droit, n'est-ce pas, de, de chaque personne. aujourd'hui, c'est que dans un monde globalisé, il ne suffit pas de fortifier la société civile localement ou nationalement, mais il faudrait aussi créer une société civile internationale qui puisse également, qui puisse également prendre ses responsabilités.
how do we help people then to expand their inventory of ideas? represent the dark side of interdependence, then culture and art represent the beneficent and constructive side of interdependence. And for that reason, we will be beginning each of our sessions starting today with an artistic performance. We live today in a world where the whole world is in our neighborhood. So I'd like to play music that actually reflects the world and to try to understand in the best way that I can. Regarde, les enfants, affamés, les gens sous la pluie, sans abri. Toi, c'est dans ton nom, cette destruction. C'est possible Non. Tu es la compassion, c'est ça la vérité. Je cherche dans n'importe quel visage un sourire, mais non, pas de sourire, pas d'amour. Viens, je t'en supplie. ألا أقدم أمامكم خطابا نظريا عن المعنى والبحث عن المعنى فمثل هذه الخطابات النظرية يمكن أن نراها في كتب كثيرة عدا أنها لا تؤدي إلى so we're living in manipulated societies when we talk about belief, when we talk about belief systems and what shapes ideology, what shapes understanding. We have to look carefully at our media system uh, and systems. We have to understand the media concentration that has put power over media into the hands of fewer and fewer uh, major uh, constellations. It has to do with mustering the courage to think critically and to love, to be compassionate, to put the other on the same status as you. This idea of global interdependence, which I'm sure will eventually transmute into global solidarity, because interdependence implies that there are two individual entities, collective entities, who are somehow dependent. Increasingly, I think we'll begin to realize that humanity is a single collective subject and there is a solidarity which is articulated differently in different idioms and in different contexts. This is a great pleasure for me to be here. Um, I think the idea of Interdependence Day is, uh, it, it, it still keeps me thinking. I think it's a, a wonderful uh, concept. Nous avons le privilège de signer également cette convention d'interdépendance à Casablanca aujourd'hui et nous en sommes fiers. Nous sommes à Casablanca également une ville d'ouverture, une ville de tolérance où 
nous avons toujours cohabité avec différentes cultures, avec différentes religions, avec différentes formes de pensée. Alors, unique réponse pratique pour aujourd'hui qui je, je retrouve, c'est la tolérance, les dialogues, les pluralismes. We are one single extended family. We should work this out. We are all here to look at the world, you know, and say simply, we must maintain this earth, and we can only do it if we recognize that we are each other's brothers and sisters, and that's not romantic, that's hardcore. <laughs> Avec le jeune rappeur français Abdel Malik, qui est venu le 12 septembre ici à Casablanca, chanter son dernier CD qui s'appelle le 12 septembre 2001, n'est-ce pas, euh, où il parle justement du fait qu'il ne faut surtout pas faire l'amalgame et que l'islam n'a rien à voir avec tout cela. C'est une instrumentation de la religion totalitaire, fasciste qui n'a strictement rien à voir avec l'islam véritable, qui est une spiritualité, une civilisation, et une culture, et une éducation, et des valeurs. Et que donc, il le dit avec le langage des jeunes. This little step that we're making has tremendous potential for reverberations and through technology we can provide the platform for people to bring all kinds of messages not just to hear our message. What price are you willing to actually uh, uh, pay in order to make the world a better place? And that's, in the end, the fundamental question. Another reason why we're here to inspire each other to do that. <laughs>